Hello, hello, and welcome back to my channel. I'm a little bit sick right now. Um, shout out to any single mothers out there. My husband was in Germany all week. Both of my kids were really sick. I was really sick, and doing this alone is not for the faint of heart. We are through it now. It is Friday, and I'm filming this. I'm gonna try and film and upload this all today, because um, I just didn't have time earlier this week, but today we are talking drugstore hair care that performs like high-end hair care. No drugstore hair care has a bad reputation. All the time I see like memes and TikToks from influencers and from hairstylists saying, oh, you know, you go spend hundreds of dollars on your hair at the salon and then you go home and ruin it with drugstore hair care products. And there is some truth to that. There are some drugstore hair care products that you should steer away from. I'm definitely not saying go buy the Suave 3-in-1 shampoo, conditioner, body wash, but there's a spectrum right at the drugstore. I think a lot of people are referring to those really terrible, cheapy products that are not going to be good on your hair, especially colored or damaged hair. It's all about finding the right products and ingredients that work for your hair type and your hair goals, whether that's to add volume, whether that's to strengthen. So I'm coming at this from my perspective with my hair type, which is pretty frizzy, wavy naturally. If I let it just air dry, it's going to be like a kind of a frizzy wave. It's pretty coarse and thick and somewhat damaged from having just colored it and highlighted it this past year. So I did go get my hair colored back to my natural hair color recently. So this is my natural color, but it is colored hair. So I have to be cognizant of that when picking hair products. I've tested so many drugstore shampoo and conditioners, like you name it, I've probably tried it within my lifetime, especially in high school and college when I just kind of used whatever was on sale. Now that I'm coloring my hair and I've learned a lot more about hair care. I've gotten a lot more selective of the products that I put in it. And so these are the products that I feel like you can find at Target and that are at a really good price point, but you're not sacrificing quality. And they're that sweet spot between drugstore and high end. So if that's what you're looking for, I hope this video is really helpful to you. So I'm gonna kind of go in order of the way I use these products, starting with dirty hair all the way to when my hair is fully styled. So starting with dirty hair, I wash my hair maybe twice a week. Starting with my hair dirty, this is a product that I got on the recommendation of Abby Young. I was Googling hair oils, best hair oils, and her video came up. Highly recommend giving that a watch. This is the Damage Remedy Coconut Miracle Oil. This is a penetrating oil. The directions say to drench your dry, damaged strands with the secret of Maui. This ultra-rich repairing blend with coconut oil essence of tiare and vanilla bean extract helps repair, soften, and revive strands. Discover silky soft and healthy looking hair. So when my hair is dirty and I'm getting ready for wash day, I don't do this every time, I do this every other time, so once a week, I will put this all over my hair and I'm very, very generous with this. I avoid like right here at my roots, but I kind of from here all the way down to my ends, pretty much drench my hair with this oil and then I let that sit for quite a while. I put it up in a clip and I just let it sit like that for a while. Um, Fun fact, if I'm also trying to remove my self-tanner during that shower, I'll put baby oil all over my body as well because that really helps loosen up tan and get it to come off a lot easier. So before showers, sometimes I've got like oil in my hair, oil all over my body. You can let this sit for as long as you want. I usually do a couple of hours, um, but I let this sit and really hydrate my hair before I go in and take a shower. Then my next step depends on how dirty my hair is feeling. I will use this once a week or twice a month depending on Again, like I said, how dirty my hair is feeling. Sometimes in the summer, when I've got like sweat mixed in with the oils and the dry shampoo, I feel a lot more of a need to use this. Whereas in the winter, my hair tends to get a lot less oily and I'm not sweating. So I use it maybe twice a month. And it is this Kristen S Deep Clean Clarifying Shampoo. And the difference between a clarifying shampoo and a regular shampoo is that this is made to really get in there. This is made to remove all the buildup. Think of this like going to get your car detailed versus a regular shampoo is like running it through the car wash. So running it through the car wash, you know, once a month or every other week will kind of keep it clean. But maybe once every six months, you want to go ahead and get that deep, deep detailed clean. This is a buildup removing, purifying and volumizing, shine enhancing, mineral detoxifying, and super sensing. But do keep in mind that your hair is gonna feel different after you use this than after you use a regular shampoo because it's a super, super deep clean and you wanna make sure you go in with a really hydrating conditioner. So this is as good as any high end I've tried. I highly recommend incorporating this into your teen if you feel like no matter how many times you shampoo your hair, it just doesn't feel like it's getting clean. 
this will change the game for you. All right, next up, shampoo and conditioner. I just finished two bottles. I just finished my shampoo and my conditioner of the one I was gonna talk about. I had them sitting in my bathroom, the two empty bottles, and my husband being the decluttering king that he is, threw them away. And I was like, I was saving those for a video. So I will put the image of the shampoo and conditioner that I recommend to everyone right here. Super affordable and high quality. It is the Ever Pure Sulfate Free Bond Strengthening Shampoo and Conditioner. This claims to strengthen weakened hair bonds, leaving hair feel soft, smooth, and protected from future damage. It's designed for demanding color treated hair kind of how I would describe mine. And it's very gentle, 100% sulfate free. It can be used on all hair types and textures. So this stuff smells delicious. It smells so good. It doesn't smell like a drugstore shampoo and conditioner. It smells really high quality. It sets up really nicely. It cleans my hair really nicely. Both the shampoo and conditioner, I highly recommend. So in the shampoo department, we have my everyday shampoo, which is L'Oreal Everpure. We have my clarifying shampoo to remove buildup. And then there's one more shampoo that I used a lot when I had highlights. I don't use quite as often now that I've gone dark, but I wanted to mention it because it's a favorite of mine. And it's the Eva NYC Brasta Sass. So typically with brunettes, when you get highlights, the biggest problem is them turning really orange and brassy. And this really helps to counteract the blue in this counteracts the orange in your brassy highlights. So I also incorporated this once a week when I had highlights just to keep them from turning brassy and extend the time between my salon visits. I never really used this alone because I wanted the color to really penetrate my hair. So I would either use it on a day where I'm using this Kristen S clarifying shampoo and then go in with this or I would go in with my L'Oreal Ever Pure and then go in with this and then follow up my conditioner. So I highly recommend this for a highlighted brunette. I also make one that is purple if you're blonde. All right, so that is the pre-shower and all the shampoos that I use depending on the day, depending on what I am needing at the moment. Those are the shampoos I alternate. As far as conditioner goes, I use the L'Oreal Ever Pure conditioner just on an everyday basis, but especially when I'm going in with a clarifying shampoo, I will follow that up with a hair mask and my favorite one is the Eva NYC Therapy Session Hair Mask. This has plant protein and argan oil, deeply conditions, hydrates, and softens. I feel a huge difference in my hair texture after I use this, and I use, I use quite a lot of this product. So this has jojoba seed oil, argan oil, and plant protein. It's got a very interesting texture. It's almost like a cross between a melted-ish wax and like jelly. It's a very interesting texture and I kind of just like really dig my hand in there and grab a handful of it and really coat my hair. So I'll take it like in sections and coat this and then coat this and make sure all of my hair is fully coated in the hair mask. I leave it on for at least five minutes while I usually shave or do something else and then fully, fully rinse it out. You don't want this residue in your hair because that's going to weigh it down, but if you fully, fully rinse it out, it makes a huge difference without weighing your hair down. I get out of the shower, I usually let my hair air dry for a while because it is pretty thick. If I go straight in with a hair dryer, it's gonna take me 45 minutes to dry my hair. Once it gets more to the damp stage, I section it off and I use this heavenly product that I recommend to everyone I know. If you haven't heard me talk about this, welcome to my channel because if you've been here a while, you know how much I love it. It's the Eva NYC Main Magic 10-in-1 Primer. So I use this on my damp hair before I blow dry and I section off my hair and I spray this on each section. This is a lot like the It's a 10 product, which is a lot more expensive. This does it all. So the 10 things it does are it strengthens, it has heat protection in it. Not only heat protection from the hair dryer, but it also has UV ray protection. It reduces frizz, detangles, softens, cuts drying time, adds shine, nourishes, and smooths. So this also has argan oil and sunflower seed oil in it. And this does not make my hair feel or look greasy at all. It makes me look like I just got a blowout. For the longest time, whenever I got my hair cut and then my hairstylist would blow dry my hair, I was like, I could never recreate this at home. And I thought like my round brush technique wasn't right, but then I realized it really came down more to the products than the technique. And once I started using this, when I blow dry my hair on my own, it looks like I just left the salon. It makes a huge difference. I highly recommend this product. If you haven't tried it, try it. Once my hair is fully dry, I'll usually go in with a curling wand or sometimes I'll run the straightener through it. I use this one only on my damp hair. So when I'm wanting to protect my hair when I'm heat styling it once it's already dry, I really like this product. This is so affordable and it's so good. It smells delicious too. All these products smell delicious. This is the Tresemme Thermal Creations Heat Protectant Leave-In Spray. It has a really nice broad mist, which is important when you're spraying on dry hair 
because you don't want to like fully saturate and get your hair super wet before you're about to heat style it. A lot of these products are really fancy, but this one is just a super basic product. It protects your hair from the heat up to 450 degrees, which I would never recommend using. Keep it to like 375. That's really all you want out of a product like this. So once my hair is fully styled, I will then go in with this Kristen S dry texture spray. So this is great to do exactly what it says, just add some texture into your hair. And I kind of just spray this all throughout my hair to give my waves a little more texture. I'll spray it at my roots to give my roots a little bit more volume. It's for all hair types, texture building, instantly volumizing, ultra light hold with a soft matte finish. This is color and keratin safe and free of sulfates and parabens. This is extremely comparable to the Orbe texture spray. I would almost go so far as to say that it's a dupe for the Orbe one. So if you like that one and you don't like the price point, give this one a shot. And as far as hairspray goes, I also really like the Kristen S Signature Finishing Hairspray. This is for all hair types, multitasking, brushable finish, style setting, medium hold. I like, that's the type of hairspray I like. I don't like the super crunchy hairsprays. I like a hairspray that's gonna keep my curls lasting a few days longer, but I can still run my fingers through my hair and that's exactly how I would describe this. It's a layerable product, so if you wanna do a really light hold, it's a very fine mist and you can just do a really light spray all around. Maybe in a wedding or something like that, you may wanna go for a stronger hold hairspray, but this is also layerable, so you would go in with a second coat or a third coat and build up the staying power of this. I love the packaging. They look really high-end, but more importantly, they perform like high-end hair products. And then my last step, I'm pretty sure this is discontinued, but I'll try and find something similar. This is the John Frieda Day 2 Revival Smoothing Dry Oil with acai and avocado. I really just like how thin this is. It helps take away any flyaways that I have. It helps just kind of smooth everything out after I've done the texture spray and kind of roughed it up a little bit. I'll take this through the ends just so that I keep the volume and the texture at the top and then my ends still look nice and smooth and healthy. But I've had this for long enough for it to be discontinued and look at how much I've used. I use like a half a pump. I really work it into my hands and then just run it through my ends. So a little bit goes a long way. And then last but not least, like all of these products that I'm talking through are on wash day which is one to two times a week so there's a lot of products involved a lot of work involved get the style right and then from there it's just maintenance so I wake up most days and don't have to do anything except for a healthy dose of dry shampoo the two favorite dry shampoos are this and Batiste my Batiste is gone and that left with the shampoo and conditioner can't leave empty bottles around here apparently but this one is also so so good this is the Eva NYC freshen up invisible dry shampoo powered by rice starch and argan oil. If I'm comparing the two, I would say when this one leaves a lot less of a white cast in the hair, but I would say Batiste leaves my hair feeling just a little bit cleaner. So just like pick your poison type of thing. Both are incredible dry shampoos. They're my top two favorites. I have tried the Living Proof. I have tried a lot of high-end dry shampoos as well and I just don't see a big enough difference for me to splurge on high end when it comes to dry shampoo either. So I hope this video was helpful. I get a lot of questions on hair care and hair products. So I wanted to share all the ones that I use that I've used for a long time that I highly recommend and that compare both ingredient wise and performance wise to any high end hair care products that I've tried. So let me know in the comments below what your must have hair care products from the drugstore are. I would love to add to this list. And thank you guys so much for watching. For your continued support, it means a lot to me. Give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and I will see you in my next one.